What's up guys? Uh, today, Pinball FX came out on Steam, uh, so we can get rid of that epic launcher. Uh, right now I'm just trying to see if uh, cabinet mode works. There is a cabinet mode. Uh, I uh, see I'm in the middle of actually like setting up. Didn't add it to Popper yet. I didn't add it to Dofflinks. Uh, this is just on because uh, Dofflinks is running, but I didn't add the actual pinball effects to it or try and set up you know any of that kind of stuff. Uh, all the controls worked. They mapped perfectly easy. I opened up uh, cabinet mode and. Gotta get yourself your keyboard, right? Just use the arrow keys and remember. So it has in this version it has for cabinet mode it has your play field and then it has your back glass and dot matrix. And then you turn both of them on or off depending on how many screens you have. I have, you know. I have four screens, but they don't they didn't have a topper thing. But that you'll just add in pin you know, in popper. You could just add a uh, pinball FX image or something. But anyway, so you can it allows you to set the vertical and horizontal positions of your back glass and your your what do you call it? Your dot matrix. So you have to think of it as how your screens are set up in Windows. Remember, they're side by side in landscape mode, right? You're, you're not changing anything to portrait, right? Um, I did set in the graphic settings um, to, it was on windowed mode. I changed it to borderless uh, window. I think that's what we used to use with the other pinball effects. Um, I, you know, I don't know what's the one we're going to use eventually, um, but I don't think it's going to be windowed mode. It's usually borderless full screen or something like that. So that's what I have it set on. Uh, that allowed me to um, basically make it, it's like one big screen, you know what I'm saying? So my play field is a 4K screen, so it's 3840, right, by 2160. So, you have your numbers here, vertical and horizontal, depending on, you know, the order of your screens, that's where you'll be. So, if you have, uh, if you have 4K screen, it's 38, 3840, right? That's the, that's your, your length. Even though the screen is facing this way, your TV is actually 3840 wide. So, Using the arrow keys, you'll go up and down, and it'll change the horizontal and vertical positions. So you'll want to change the vertical position, and you'll just hold the hold the arrow up until it gets up to 3842. And when it does, you'll see. I know you can see right now. I'm I'm already on the dot matrix, but you see this yellow like portrait thing showing up. That's, uh, Pinball FX added that, so you could see where, when you're setting your numbers, where it actually is gonna be, all right? So, right now, this is, so I have a 4K play field. I have a 1440p back glass, okay? So, 3040 is the, the horizontal width of my, my pinball table, then uh, 2560 is the width of my 1440p back glass. You add them together and you're in 6000 something. So right now I'm at 6400. So I'm on my dot matrix window. You add your two screens together. The, the largest numbers are your width. Okay, so you add your whatever screen you have. If you have if you just have 1080p screens, it's going to be 1920 plus 1920. And that'll get you on your, that should get you onto your third dot matrix screen. All right? Just add them together. 
So this little thing comes up, as you can see, and it can show you. So now I'm on about 6400, which is correct. So I got the perfect width. Now I'm going to try and adjust the vertical position to make this so it fills the whole screen. All right. So we're just doing this live, so you know, I don't know if it's going to work or not, but at least you'll get to see how um, you know, how you set up your screens. Um, they do list um, the folder, I guess, where you're supposed to put all the artwork for the tables and stuff. I don't know. Uh, if you, Just to let you guys know, um, if you buy all the tables that I bought every table that you can get today, right? And I have every Pinball FX3 table, so I have the full discount because they get they give you discounts for um, if you have Pinball FX3 in in Steam, and it was three hundred and thirteen dollars without tax for every table if you have every table in Pinball FX3. So for you guys that collect like me. It's $313 if you want them all. All right? So just throwing that out there. That's with the discounts. All right? All right, so let me just try here. I'm going to try and see if I get the, um, the dot matrix to go full screen. Because right now, you see it? See the yellow going up? So I'm going... I'm actually... So... I'm actually, I'm adjusting the vertical position because like I said, the horizontal is already set. You can see it's set. And vertical position, I'm hitting the up arrow, which is bringing the number down. Okay, so I'm at like 260 something. It's almost, I guess technically it should be like, it should be zero, right? To fit the whole screen, but that's a 1080p, 1920p by 1080p uh, screen. Yeah, and it's gonna be zero, so. Oops. It'll even go negative, so if you have some kind of weird setup. There you go, so it is zero, which makes sense, because it's a, you want it full screen, so it's gonna be zero, obviously. Uh, horizontal, uh, uh, vertically, um, it's going to be zero because you want it to be the full screen. Um, horizontal for me, it's 6400. But I have a weird setup. I have 4K and a 1440p. Like I said, your your uh, your horizontal position for your dot matrix is going to be your your two high numbers of your monitors. So 1920, 1920 is whatever whatever that is. <laughs> Use a calculator. I had a I had Jersey uh, schooling, so all right. So let's see what happens here. So I got my window size for so dot matrix. I turned it to enable. It, it you have a win, window size. I set it to 1920 by 1080. All right, and then underneath that is window position. Horizontal position is 6400. And vertical position is zero. Okay, so the thing with the back glass, uh, now let me go to back glass, all right? So now I have back glass on, and it's, I have it set 2160 by 1440, but it's not filling the screen. It's almost in like a four or three kind of setup, and I don't know why. So I'm going to try and adjust um, uh, the vertical position is zero because it's it's the full screen. Um, horizontal position I just adjusted it by eye to try and make it so it looked like it was centered. But I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try here and see if I can if I can maybe make it full screen by by changing the width shouldn't do that though it, it shouldn't it shouldn't work that way I'm just gonna try oops so 
use the right the right and left arrows is how you adjust that. Let me just All right, so it's it is moving over, but it's I'm gonna have to make it wider. And it's probably gonna throw my oops, shit. It's probably gonna throw my dot matrix off a little because I'm moving it. The width should be 2560. So I don't, I don't get. See, so it should be over to to the left. I gotta see how that works. Let's see. So. Maybe change the horizontal position. Let's try that. Oh, that's working. All right, here we go. So right now I'm hitting the left arrow key to adjust the horizontal position of my back glass. I'm just doing this by eye because. After it should be 3841 technically, right? Or 3851? What's uh, what's 4K? 3560 by 20? No, 35. I forget what it is. 4K is 30, 30 something by 2160. I can't think of it, but it should be that number, just one above it. Okay, looks like we're right there. All right, so 3861 is what I got for mine. Let me just see real quick the exact thing is for you guys. Thirty eight forty, that's what it is. Alright, so it should be thirty eight forty one technically, right? Thirty eight forty by by uh twenty one sixty. But if I go thirty eight forty one, this is gonna go way off the I believe it'll go way off the screen. Let's see. No, oh, but it seems good. So, I hope you can see the back glass. You can see it. All right, so 3841. So, 3840 is the width of my 4K monitor, and then so 3841 is your starting position for your second monitor. So that did that did work, but I'm gonna check the. Uh, dot matrix window just one more time just to see make sure it's still good and it's still good it didn't get messed up at all um, so if anyone has uh, these screens those, these are the numbers for you I doubt anyone has a 1440p back glass but if you do that's what it, <laughs> those were the numbers that I, I gave you so 
dot matrix for me, it's horizontal position 6400, vertical is zero, because you want the whole screen. It's always gonna be zero, your vertical. Um, and then your window size, 1920 by 1080. Pretty simple. My back glass, 2560 by 1440. Yours will be 1920 by 1080 probably. And then horizontal position is gonna be, it should be one number more than your play field. So 3840 is my, my 4K monitor. And then it starts, you know, in Windows, the second ring, 3841. So my window position is 3841. Vertical position zero. And then, like I said, uh, the, the window size, you just put the, the actual thing, 2560 by 1440. But it does allow you to adjust that, because as you can see, like, my cabinet has the bezel, so it kind of blocks a little bit of the yellow line, but overall, it, it, it looks good. Um, the problem is, I don't have any of the art in those... Um, you know, in that folder. See, Pinball FX Mods Cabinet PFX.png. So I am not 100% uh, percent sure. I'm gonna show you soon. So my regular settings for video, I have borderless window. Um, Orientation I've set 270 degrees, 3840 by 2160. I have VSync on. I don't have HDR on because Windows HDR just is garbage. Uh, I do have ray tracing on. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm also running an RTX 3090 in here, so just be careful with the ray tracing. Um, under advanced. I got I have my framing frame rate limit set at 120. I have, I'm using TAA high uh, anti anti aliasing. Everything on high. I have motion blow motion motion blur off. I hate that. And uh, chromatic aberration amount I have at zero. You don't need that. Gameplay is, is most you know most of the stuff you could add, cross play. Uh, score display, all, kind, all that kind of stuff. Ball trails. Let's see. You know, you can do dot matrix color and stuff. Dot matrix position. I wonder if I turn this off like we do. Can we turn it on? I'm going to turn dot matrix off to see if it will still show up because we're in cabin mode it should still show up on there because I don't want it on my play field all right um, enter initials uh, no let me turn that off floating notifications uh, I'm going to turn that off. And all right, everything else looks it's all right. So I don't know. Let's see. Uh, go back to the main menu here. My tables. And as you see, it fits, fits really, really nice on the screen now. Uh, whereas before, you know, it didn't. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, there's tournament mode and everything's working. Play the new uh, 
the new, what do you call it? The Godzilla. So we'll do Godzilla vs. Kong first, I guess. Okay, so my button's working. Table 160 is is this table. So this is how you're gonna figure out. Can you guys see that? On the you can't really see it, but so I'm playing the King Kong table. And it's looking for that image. So table 160.png is the King Kong vs. Godzilla table. And uh, I, you know, I don't have the artwork yet. I don't know where we're supposed to get that. Uh, like I said, this was just a this was just a what do you call it? A rough, tr you know, just a quick try to see. Uh, Oh, okay. All right, guys. So dot matrix size. All right. You have to have it on. It's not going to be on your screen. You see it just popped up. Oh, can you see that? All right. So we're in pinball FX3. We turn dot matrix off. In pinball FX, you turn it on in, in the settings gameplay menu. All right. So it says default color. Uh... It's at, I have it set small. Does it, does it matter the size? No, it, the size don't matter. I have the full color. All right, the colors don't don't change. So let's go to the full top center. Yeah. All right. So that's cool. All right. So remember, you have to get the. Um, Get your your dot matrix on. You have to turn dot matrix uh, size. All right, it's in the regular settings menu for a game under gameplay. You have to turn it just on. It, it's it's off, small, medium, or large. Doesn't matter what uh, what size you pick or anything because we already set it up. That's good. That the the actual the um, what do you call it? The cabinet mode settings is R saving. Alright, so let's see. 
change camera. I did set. Uh, oh wait, toggle visual mode. Maybe that's what I was. Thinking. All right, so change camera. I had set for one. Toggle visual mode. I had. camera set up though. So here we can drag and drop set up manual camera up using the up and arrow up. Uh, it does look, look better. So all the way down makes it look more 3D. Um, cool. Where are the regular, uh, you know, let me restart the game. Yes, restart. Legendary screen comes out. We have full color DMDs now. Can't change the. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Here's the different gears. You one. One wide. You two. Three, four, five, seven. I used to always use one W. Let's just try zero, see, just to see what it looks like. Let me, let me see if I can get you in close so you can see the actual... I know there's a lot of uh, reflection because the sun is literally beating down right now. So I don't have the back glass as you can see, but they, they give you the folder where you're supposed to put it, so that's cool. Once we get the artwork, I'll look uh, online in a sec second but you see we got the dot matrix dot matrix is working so we know we know how to get that set up and i hope you guys can... i'm just trying to get, let you guys see you know get an idea for People are complaining about I didn't get to like complain about it, everything.
used to always go one W. Let's see how that looks. I'm gonna cut this video short. Just so this is it. That was how you set up your your backlash and matrix for cabinet mode. All right. Um, once I get the the backlashes pack, I'll just I'll upload. Uh, once I get all of them, I'll, I'll put them in a video in a description. You can just download them, put them in the fo the folder, and and we'll get this going. All right. I'm gonna try and see if I could add anything to. But, so let me just give you a little bit better of idea. Pretty awesome looking, I mean. Not bad. Alright. Peace, guys. I'll see you. Wait.